Hello everyone, it's Rob here from Woodward Games. I hope you're all doing well. It has been a long time. Okay, let's have a look. Tonight we're playing Blackout Rugby Manager. And hopefully you can hear me all right and everything like that. Just got to get everything set up. Yeah, that's sweet. Okay, so just going to move things out the way. I can actually, if you ever want to use the chat, I can actually show your chats up on screen and everything like that. And right, let's have a look. Um, let's go to Blackout Rugby. You don't need to see Auckland. There it is. It's raining right now. You can't tell. Right, so here we have Blackout uh, rugby manager, haven't done this for a while. Um, let's have a look. Um, I've actually got two finals tonight. We have the final with uh, Woodward Games, which starts in... Okay, a lot of these you can't even see because I haven't been on this computer, so a lot of them will be with clouds and everything like that. Um, here we go. So we're doing expensive tears. So that one's in three minutes. And another one, which is with, aha, let's have a look, with the infamous, <laughs> with flying koalas. Okay, flying koalas. One of the union members, one of the, you've been around for a while. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going to be a good match. And that's immediately after. So I'm actually looking forward to these. So let's have a look. Okay, let's go back to it. So if you have any questions about the game whatsoever, just leave them in the chat and we'll answer them, basically. And if I don't know the answer, I'll just invent something. <laughs> That's how we roll around here. Okay, so let's go here. As you can see, oh, actually, this would be a reveal score. Use my, I mean, look, with ladder challenges, always use the, I'm always using my youth. And, and the game plan depends on what the, what do you call it? The challenges in the union. At the moment, we have to complete, I don't know, like 300 penalty kicks or something like that in ladder matches. So that's the reason I have this game plan called penalty kicks. Yeah, so that works. So uh, reveal a score. So most likely lose these, but it doesn't. Not you don't don't worry about losing the ladder matches. Okay, do not worry about losing the meta, uh, <laughs> the ladder matches because it's just to get experience for your boys. And let's go see, oh, look at that, number one in the world, yes. And how many people are there? Let's go have a look at the last ranks. Number one out of, whoa, 111,000 players. Woodward Games, number one. one out, that's like, ah, a lot of these, like the last probably like 100,000 or so, they're all new players at level one. So, of course, they won't be able to come up here. So it sounds impressive, but really it's not. I mean, the top like 20 are the most active teams and everything. So if I go down like lower ranks, let's go have a look. I've probably got Woodward Saints around here. There, there is level 18. I don't like him being in the top 10, my second team, because I can't play against myself. You can't play against your own team in the ladder. So it means I only have like eight options to choose from. So, yeah. So what we're going to do is we'll go to the fixtures. This is going to be a good match. Let's go to the league. This is what happened this season. Let's go see if we can reveal score. There it is. And, yeah, so um, RC Espelion beat Hedegal Warriors 12-2. So that's a bit of a, um, yeah. It was unfortunate because Hedegal is one of the, the channel members. You notice I've got one of these crowns now. I haven't had a crown, which is means you've got the premium of Blackout Rugby Manager. I haven't had that for like about a year or two or so. Uh, and still got, you can get to level one without having the premium. And the reason I have it is because you've got some other little cool things like this one here, I had to gather my, like if I go back to here, you get this little icon, you go to Woodward Saints, which means, oh, you got a duffel bag with stuff that you haven't collected yet. So you go here, reveal score and claim rewards, because otherwise I, I usually just forget. And you have to think, oh, did I collect it? Then you have to go through and you're clicking through things you don't want to, but monotonous. So that just saves time. That's why I like, um, what do you call it? The premium. And also just to help out with the game. Okay, so this game is going to start in, I've got expansive test. Oh, shit, it's live already. Damn, I missed the beginning of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to show you my live things, and I and I turn up late to my own party. 
<laughs> okay, it's going to start a bit weird here. Because, like, if you don't start exactly on time, it's like, okay, I've already got a try, it looks like, and I've just done the kickoff for that try. Damn, missed it, but that's life. Okay, so I've got, oh, okay, so they're going creative. Now, I personally, I don't really like going creative very much because you sort of lose the ball quite a bit. Oh, he's going driving quite hard. I, I, I should have actually looked at all of the team stats and everything like that before, but, you know. So this is against RC, and they're quite high up in the ladder from memory. I don't know if they're top 10, or I think they might be top 20 at least, which means they're a pretty good team. And he's expensive here. Now, expensive, ooh, I got it. That's all right. Turnover. Now, I've got, there's lots of players you haven't seen. Like, and as you know, I pick a lot of players because of their ran. Oh, did you see that? He went through that gap. Yes, who was it? Number 12. Who is? Uh, Natimeki. <laughs> Natimeki. <laughs> yes, I got Natimeki there, so that's cool. Oh, shit, got an injury already. 14, Innes. Ah. Oh. Is Innes, man. It says here, who's your favorite UFC fire? You got the the Kiwi, got the, the New Zealand in there. Begins with A. <laughs> was it was it is whatever his name is. <laughs> so I don't much watch much of the, the, the UFC, but anyway. So here it is. What's it? Ed, Ed, Edis Lay? Edis Lay? Oh god, no, he does sort of well in the UFC. But here we're looking at the blackout rugby. So expensive, doing well. Actually, I wonder how the experimental is going. Let's go have a look. Okay, so we've got the little man on there. The passing is good. That was my uh, my forward. You get tackled. We don't have the tackles available yet. Remember, this, um, yes, that's the one. Uh, Adesanya, exactly. Um, yeah, my don't know his name. <laughs> he was like, like when I read it in the papers, like, yeah, but then I just forget. I'm terrible like that. Like that with the, like, with the family too. It was like, you know, what are my children's name again? I forget. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that happens with me too. So actually, that's why I still, I don't like the experimental yet because there's, I mean, they've got some of the things ready. They've got the passing motion done. Oh, and he's through. And he's through there. This is my fullback. And there he is. Yeah, but I don't watch much of the, what do you call it, the the UFC. Yeah, it's just like, because I don't have like the pay-for-view things and things like that. It's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, not really worried about it. Okay, so I actually prefer, prefer this view because I can get to see the numbers on the back of the players more. Okay, so we've got the, the scrum. What about your favorite? You got a favorite there, Muhammad? Minor Tony Ferguson because of his dangerous knees and poetic lines, like when he knocked out, he said, the dirty knee. Okay. Yeah, as I said, like, I don't know much about UFC. I just know there's a Kiwi in there, and that's about it. Oh, and then you had that Gregor guy. He was, a bit, he was, like, he was like the Irish, isn't he Irish? He's probably Scottish, and everyone's going to hate me now. No, he's Irish. <laughs> and, he was, and he was, like, a bit arrogant. But, yeah. But it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's really violent, UFC. It's, like, really, really violent. It's quite, yeah, a bit of a mess. Just, like, what they can do to each other. I don't know how you can do UFC for, like, as a career because you're going to get hurt seriously numerous times every year. So it's like, yeah, that, that would be one of the toughest. Like, you think rugby players have a hard time? UFC is next level. <laughs> Okay, so we're in the second half. I'm already 26 nil up, so I'm it's like pretty safe to assume that I've won this. Got the scrum coming in here. So it's 26-3. Got the scrum. That was his put in or mine. I didn't actually see that. Didn't know so don't pay attention. So going expensive here. Ooh. Now something that I've noticed of late expensive is ooh, his 14 was really quick. Either my 12 is slow <laughs> or his 14 is really quick. He was catching up. That's quite impressive. It's, that is quite an impressive thing for him to catch up. Okay, so it's 33-3. Um, okay, let's see. Look at it. Just bouncing off there. He just about bounced. If he had a bounced off that last player, he would have gone through there. Not a problem at all. Hey, Mohammed, have you ever played rugby at all? You know anything about rugby? Many countries, it's not very popular. Go through the gap. Yes. Wow, he's flying. Is he going to get caught? I don't think so. Ooh, 
he got caught. I, said, I don't think so. What happens? He gets caught. <laughs> yeah. So he gets caught there. That's fine. Ooh, what I have to do is change. Okay, since I've got pre when you got premium, you actually get the chance to change one of the players' names. And I have to change one of the players' names to was it Eastwold? Oh god, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> it's one of Slothrop's teams. Eastwold. Oh god, I forget. Anyway, I'll, I'll see it in a second. This is the second team. And I'm like I bought a player of him, so I'm gonna go change the name to that. I said if I win it, I'll change the name. Okay, so it's 40 to 3. Yeah, this is pretty much mine for the finals. Okay, that's what you do when you're in your own 22. It's quite a safe thing just to kick it out. That's like one of the most common tactics I see. This one I always use. And you just kick for kick for touch, and it'll usually go out. Usually. I know sometimes it's a bit finicky, and it like there's like a, one of the other guys there over there somewhere that catches it from the other team, but it's not often. Or maybe it's just because my kicking's really good in the players, and he's bounced off. Why did he bounce off? That's usually because of power. You got lots of power, you can bounce off people, or people bounce off you. <laughs> now you probably want people to bounce off you, not you to bounce off people. Otherwise, you go backwards. Okay, forty-seven three, pretty good. I'm pretty. It's like pretty safe. This. Okay, let's go have a look. And going to the rock expensive. You notice I do quite a bit of um, expensive here, just so you know. Um, flying koalas. <laughs> I could actually change my tactic. You said, "Oh, in 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 the in our, I'm I'm happy with our union, the unicorn hookers, because it's really active in the chat and everything like that, and it's just the people there were learning, and it's just really good. And one of the things, because um, flying koalas is we're also we're in the same union, and look, there, yeah, just kick it out. He says, "I hope you use the worst tactic ever," and I think I will. The thing is, I don't know what that tactic is. I have not looked at it for, oh, shit, did I get, oh, no, that was his player that got an injury. I've not looked at it for ages. This must be a French team. There are French names of the players. Penalty scrum, whose is it? Mine? I'll win it. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, what I'll do, I should actually go through some of the questions on Discord, too. That'd be cool. Hey, what happened there? Something weird happened. I thought the ball was behind him, then suddenly it went forward. That looked really weird. Okay, this is a pretty easy final. Uh, it's 59-3 win to – this is Woodward Games, so – which is doing 61-3 in a final. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And, of course, want to claim the rewards. And that's what you do. And we're going to collect these. There we go. And let's go look at the timeline. Oh, I've got an injury in here. That's why I always save energy um, for the league matches. In this case, it's a final, but for the league matches, because in case there is, a, there is an injury and I can just use one of my cards to, to fix him, to bandage him up. Yeah. So we've got um, Woodward Games, 78% possession. Most of the action was in their area. 900 meters gain. There's a lot of yeah, running in there. Player stats. Now let's go have a look at the. I know we should look at the other match that's coming up in ten minutes. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a tough one. Actually, we should go watch that now. We can look at these ones later. So let's go have a look. Uh, congratulations! What? Oh, hang on. Reveal score. Okay, there is a must be a bug here. Reveal score. I can't click on it. It's not opening. Uh huh. So I can't see my explosive celebration thing. So if I go to fixtures. Go here, reveal score. Nope, it's not happening here. So there must be some type of bug where you can't actually see it. Um, fixtures, or how about I go, let's go to the other club. Then if we go back, just remember, it's like this is a game, it's relatively new, so sometimes there are bugs and bits that happen. So if I go back to Woodward Games, can I see it now? Nope, it's not happening either. If I go to league, uh, reveal score, go to match. So if I go to match, Reveal score. Ah, there it is. So I have to go to the post game and then go back to the competitions. And nope, it's still still hidden. So there must be some type of bug. Oh, I was looking forward to the celebration thing. But anyway, 
Going back to Woodward Saints. What's actually good it happened on stream because I can show it because it happened to me the other day. I'm like, ah, oh, I can't be bothered trying to explain it. When I can show it, that's a good thing. Okay, so we're going to Woodward Saints. And what is happening here? Again, would have lost my ladder match. We've already seen that. Okay, Woodward Saints versus Flying Koalas. Anyone here active? in the chat or anything like that probably not because i'm only one awake <laughs> okay so what we're going to do is go to my go to the comps uh reveal score there it is maybe I have to reveal score in the other one uh, anyway let's go here woodward saints so go to the fixtures and at the moment look at this you have about eight minutes and 20 seconds to change your tactic flying koalas look I'm using Expansive Pure, <laughs> uh, which probably means it's going to be pure expensive, 100%. Maybe, maybe, we will see. So go change it quickly. Or I could change it to the worst tactic ever. Do I, want, do I want to risk this? I don't know what the worst tactic ever is. I haven't seen this in over a year. I haven't seen this. Oh, I can't remember the last time I saw it, honestly. It's just one of these tactics is like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do. I'll just leave it on there. I used to play it a lot, but I don't know how it is nowadays with the, the, the thing. Let's go, let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. I haven't know. We've got eight minutes. We'll have a look afterwards to see what my tactic is. Okay, let's go to squad. Let's go to the oh, – no, we'll check out the lineup first, see what the competition is like. Or the Woodward Saints versus... Okay, I'm going to... Okay. I don't know what it is. I could be risking a lot. This is worst tactic ever. There it is. That's for you, Steve. Flying Koalas. <laughs> Do you see what I did with the, the, the logo? I had the Unicorn Hookers um, logo in there too. If anyone wants to use it from the Union, you're more than welcome. It's quite cool. <laughs> okay, so let's go have a look. Uh, go to match. And what we're going to do is have a look right about uh here Ooh, look at this oh, i've got wood it's woodward saints it's not my best my second team okay so he's got a tall prop you got a tall prop there 488 matches quite he's 140 kilos he's actually got more um higher level i've got a lot more my guys have had more matches because i just pumped them through the ladder quite a bit I just want them there, just going hard out, 80 to 79, 81 to 76. Oh, I'm starting to chicken out here. I might have to go to expensive pure. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit, this is this is going to be difficult. This is going to be difficult. Let's, let's, okay, so this is the other prop. Your, your props are quite tall. You got a 191, a 189, and a 187. I've got a 174. A 179 and a one, they're all mine, a 170 something. Okay. Okay, they've had more matches. Look at this guy. He's had 1,100. He's in my seat. That's because he's a star player. So I chuck him in pretty much every match possible. He's quite tall. He's had a lot of matches. He's age 33, which means you've got a stoner too. You've got a stoner in your team. Ah, no way. I've still got my sto stoner. I've still got stoner from like two years ago. He's like age 60 something now. I don't know what he is. But yeah, I've still got him in my team. I've kept him. <laughs> just to, I just want him to rot on the bench. <laughs> okay, so we've got, um, what do we got here? So 77 to 78. Ooh, this is, this is good. This, this is a good matchup. Okay, this one, my, this looks better, but he's 35. Oh, you're 37. So he would have dropped. I was going to say 35. He's lost some of his skills, but your one's old. Killing him, his <laughs> killing here. He's also lost, would have lost a number of schools too. Huh. Ah, so my lock is only like two, he's only 200. That's really weird. Okay, so we've got the what about the next one? We've got the flankers here. Okay, so we've got another 200 centimeter here. Finished. <laughs> <laughs> okay there's like people just randomly come in the room there it's like yeah it's 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 oh it's just it's blackout rugby it's like yeah it's not like the other ones with like gosh, loads of people turning up okay so we've got um 80 
Uh, AD Lock versus us. Uh, this is on the flankers, though, so it'll be interesting. Guys had more matches. I actually prefer my flankers to be quite tall. 78-78. Ooh. This is, yeah, this, this is going to be a good matchup here. I'm going to leave it at worst tactic ever to see if it still does the job. Oh, I hope so. 78. Look at that. 1,200 matches. And you've got a new guy here. So he's going to get crushed a little bit, your number eight. Uh, I would have put him on your flank as a flanker because your number eight is probably one of the more, it's more important than the flanker. So I probably would have brought him back because he's got more experience and everything like that. More than this guy. Yeah. Um, he's 33 too. Look at that, 1,200 matches. Man, that is shitloads. That is because he's, I've had him in all of my youth matches when I was just starting out. Um, with I just chucked them in the youth matches from age 18 and just pumping them through. So he's got legendary skills, and he's going to be against someone that's sort of not like inexperienced maybe. We've got the – okay, we're going to the – okay, I've got a wing in my scrum half here, and you've got a proper scrum half. Okay. Um, 79 to 73, Perry. Perry. Isn't Perry the name of that? I want to, no, no, that's in Spanish. The platy, Perry the Platy, Platypus. I was going to say, was it? I don't think, oh, I forget what it is in Spanish. I'm so forgetful today, actually, in life. That's what happens when you get old. Okay, you got 79 to 73. So you've got 79 face, uh, Facebook. Because <laughs> oh, I'm always writing FB for all of my different notes. You've got Facebook and you got Twitter and you got TikTok. And you've got all of these different social media things. I don't use it for Woodward Games. But I have to use it for Woodward English, and it's just like you got to publish here and there and everywhere. It's just like a mess. That's why, like, if hey, there's my, there's a Facebook, no, he's a fullback. I still got a fullback in the fly half position. Now you got a fly half, fly half. Okay, they're both twenty eight, and they're so like similar levels. Okay, that's interesting. Um, wings. Okay, Gutierrez. That's good. Ooh, he's got six hundred matches. That's going to be a good matchup between those two. Sarsfield, center, 20, very close, very close. I think I might have an advantage here where, because of match experience. Oh, there's so many things I want to talk about. Um, yeah, so we've got the – who's that? This is I've got another center at fullback. Why are there all of these fullbacks everywhere? Normally I've got – I don't have any, so maybe the training's just took them there, taken them there. So I've got a center. Okay. Full back in the center. Oh, interesting. 100 kilos. That's quite a lot. I think I have to make him lose weight or something. Uh, Guevara also. 72. Your one's there. Oh, your other wing. Sua. <laughs> Barney Sua. Oh, that's a, that's, that's a, that's a, I could, I could probably, I'd probably choose a player with that name. Sua. Like he's <laughs> Barney. I like think of Barney the dinosaur living in a sewer. It's just like it wasn't actually alligators, it was actually Barneys that they found in New York. <laughs> okay, let's go. And we've got um Lavin versus Goldwyn. Goldwyn, that appeared in something today in the match. Ah, oh, it was a football match between the two soccer teams and down here in New Zealand. Okay. So 77 and 75. So it's gonna be uh, interesting. He but the problem is he's 36 years old. Okay, this is going to start any second now. Okay, I've kept it as I used first 15, and my tactic was the worst match ever. I'm just going with that. Okay, I listen to you, Steve. I listen to you. I hope I don't regret this because, yeah, I just hope I don't regret this. Let's see what happens. I haven't seen this tactic in so long. After it, I'm going to see what this tactic is because I'm curious. Okay, so it's Flying Quail is kicking off here in this match for the final of the season. Who has the best team? And I'm bouncing out already. Is he going to get... Oh, he's just about got caught there. And he's in the first minute. Don't say no way. 11. My dude. Got to try in the first three minutes. Oh, Armando Santo. No, he's doing the kicking. So who got the try? It was number 11. I don't know the names of these guys. Um, okay, so that was a quick try. So maybe the worst tactic ever is working. <laughs> Here's, okay, I've got driving in here, so it's not just expensive. So you're quite lucky there. I wonder if I have creative in this. I don't know. 
I think I've got like little bits here and there. Okay, I'm expensive again, going through the gap. Oh, did you see that sidestep? It's like, you thought I was going there. You thought I was going there. Sarsfield, got it. Okay, so we've got two tries in the first 10 minutes. It's not looking that good. It's not looking that good. 14-0 at um, after 11 minutes. Okay, let's have a look. What else is happening here? Okay, you've got a back. Flying Koala's got a back. He's got the driving. How is the driving? I stopped the driving. Okay. Keep going. Is he going to fly? Driving again. Oh, it's interesting how they get like get pushed either sideways or forwards with the driving. Okay, like if you your team has driving, sometimes you get a kind of player coming in behind and helping push it forward like that. But this one's getting pushed to the side. I wonder why that is. So you're doing a lot of driving here in this section. Is that which is quite a good tactic because normally you hold on to the ball, but not in this case. <laughs> okay, and my expensive. My expensive is bouncing off. And he, oh, he's gonna get he's gonna get caught. He got caught. He's already out of energy. And do 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 got the got the ball. There was a tutero got the ball back. <laughs> oh two dude got it back. Okay, got the expensive here. Kicking. Good. That's then that's the good tactic. The thing is, sometimes it gets caught by one of your the other players, dudes, but normally you can get it back. I thought there's oh, I've got a kicking up and under in this tactic. And I caught it too. No way. No way. And up and under, and I caught it. Oh, I've got an injury. I've got my my lock, my tallest lock. Is that mine? Yeah, my tallest lock just. And I've got another guy in there. Oh, shit, he's going to be a low level. That's not going to be good. Um, there was a scrum. I, don't, I, can't, I wasn't paying attention to who put it in because I was thinking about who replaced him. Okay, so it's gone here. You see, I don't like kicking for penalties at all, except for in ladder matches where I need it as a part of a challenge. <sighs> Look at my scrum. Almost got it back. I don't like kicking for penalties because it's only a possible three points. Whereas I I believe in my team and I think they can actually go for the seven points or at least a whoa. He just went through. He he weaved. He weaved through everyone. It's not often that I see. It's yeah. It's not often I see that. Like I see matches, so I haven't been up to date about ooh. I'm not up to date with what it looks like or anything like that. Oh, Licky, Licky, Licky. <laughs> oh, $5, Licky, Licky. <laughs> He's going to, oh, I'd, I'd have him in my team too. Oh. Thing is, now you can actually use tokens to change the names of players. So this was that's something I want to do. Okay, so it's 21 nil. I started with two tries in 10 minutes. And then I sort of, you know, went down a bit. My energy is a little bit sapped. I'm a little bit out of energy here. So we'll see how the second half. I mean, with a 21-0 lead at halftime, in my home ground, it's not normally, yeah, it's not normally something you can come back from. So this is 21-0 kickoff, second half. Um, kick off. I got it. No, I didn't get it. And did the safe thing, the wise thing. Did it? Ooh, I just about got it. Just about got it. Okay, so we've got the line out here. Throwing it expensive. Going expensive here. Oh, right through the gap. Is he going to make it? He's got like three dudes for dude. And the other guy sort of ran away like, nah, I'm out of here. I've given up. Okay, 26 nil is pretty hard to get out of this one. And I wow, that's an impressive conversion. Okay, 28 nil now. Yep, there's no coming back from this. Sorry, Steve. Famous last words. <laughs> I've never seen a comeback from this amount. Like in real life rugby, I've seen it. But in Blackout Rugby Manager, I haven't seen it. So yeah. They might get a try, maybe, because, okay, kicking for touch. Okay. 
It doesn't, when you kick for touch outside of your 22, it doesn't often go out. It usually goes to the wing or fullback, or usually the wing of the other team. It doesn't often go back. But if you can chase it down and tackle him before he gets anywhere, it's, it can actually be a, quite a good tactic. Okay, so we've got driving. Okay, so you're doing quite a bit of driving. So I imagine you've got an epic driving card here. Driving again. It, it's a safe tactic because you don't normally lose it that much. Well, pick and go, you don't lose it very much. And driving also is like less chance of losing it because if you're expensive, but you're not going, you're not going forward. If you had have used a, a like an epic card, probably could have done more damage. Look at this expensive. Look what you did with expensive. You just about got through there. I'd use expensive a bit more if I were you. So we've got the ruck, throw it out. So if you noticed. The teams were quite similar in, in level. After this match, what I want to do is I want to go through and see, compare like the stats and things like that. Because one of the things that probably is making a difference is the a player's experience. Because most of my players are legendary or hardened or seasoned at least. And so look at that. You're expensive. See where you got? Ooh, if you had got through him, my other guy would have come in. Ha <laughs> ha. No, maybe. But like, you see, you got quite a lot further here. Now, expensive. Look at that. You threw a gap too. And if I don't catch you, ooh, I did catch you. You would have been through. And I don't know what happened there. It's like, it could have got stuck a little bit. Anyway, so we've got driving, yeah. Driving, keep going. But it's sort of going sideways now. Before with the driving, it would go like straight forward. Look at that, expensive. Getting ground. Expensive now. Wow, that was an interesting pass. Okay, sort of getting, it's like sticks every now and then. Did you notice that? Okay, expensive. He's through. Oh, he got caught by the last defense. And Matamala rips it. My One of my props ripped it off. Got it back. Who kicked that? It wasn't Matamala that kicked it, was it? Oh, I've got to go check that out. Okay, end the half. Yay. Sorry, Steve, but yep, 28-0. Reveal score, dun dun, claim rewards. Open that duffel bag full of gold. 63,000. Nice. Um, and oh, go to the timeline. Match stats. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Flying Koalas had 65% possession. That was, I think, mainly because of the drives. The driving, he just held onto the ball a lot. Wasn't in my 22 at all, 0%, but spent like half the match was in my, before the 22, whatever that's called. It was like 42%. That's quite a bit. It's like half the match. Half the match in theirs and half the match. That's interesting. A lot of it was in that part. Ah, interesting. Uh, meters gained, carries, loads of carries, 90 carries compared to my 36. That's interesting. I made 32 tackles. I made 32 tackles. Whoa. That is loads of tackles. How many did I miss? I missed two tackles, but here there are 10 tackles that were missed. I missed two tackles, but 32 tackles, that's pretty... Crazy. Also, Flying Koalas won more turnovers. Won a scrum. I won a line. Oh, a line out turnover one. That's good. A mall one. Own rucks. Lots of rucks. 29. That's probably from just that driving, constant driving. But those clean breaks. No intercepts or anything like that. That's pretty interesting. And then you just got all of these things. Blah, blah, blah. If you want to have a look at that, you can see that later. But the player stats, I want to have a look at this. 
Let's just go through the props and everything like that. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. There's, like he's got a level 77 prop compared to level 74. He's also heavier, but he's taller too. But I mean, this is only inf influences the, um, the scrum. I'm not too sure if it influences the lineouts, except for the hooker. The hooker's not in the lineout, of course. But the other two, like number ones and number threes. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I wonder if it actually influences anything at all, just being that little bit taller. Hmm, interesting. But look at the, look at his power. Look at his acceleration. Is better. Everything's everything's better. Ninety two strength. That is impressive. Ninety two strength. He's actually quite a good. He's got good agility, so he could be a good like one ninety one flanker. He's got the agility, acceleration. He's got every. This guy's pretty cool. Interesting. More uh, your acceleration is higher than speed. Interesting. Interesting. Better coordination. 86 endurance also. Man, you, you this this prop's good. You've got a really good prop here. Okay, I've got more composure. You're at your limit. I've used some cards to increase his composure a little bit. Five form. He's aggressive. Rawr. Okay, this is the here's the difference. So in this part here, the attributes basically better in everything, oh, except for speed, maybe. But yeah, you don't really, they don't really need speed at this. But look at this, level five. But here, no passing. Oh, not no passing. Not very much passing, not very much catching, not very much awareness, not very much line breaking. And personally, your forwards need these two. Look at them, 57, 57. So you think my prop, he's like looking for a, for a space in the... What do you call it? if he's looking for a space in the, um, like in the defense? Like, where can I just break through? The awareness helps, and also the line breaking is actually gonna actually break through, so it's gonna help. Passing, not too sure how much it really influences. Catching could be up and unders, things like that. But the awareness and line breaking for me, I think they're still very important for all players, the props, forwards. All of the forwards, like the locks, flankers, and everything like that. So I'd, uh, anyone out here in this beginning, I recommend working on those. Better counter-rucking, scrum 77. Wow. That's good, man. That's that's because you've been training in these more than those, most li more than likely. Okay, it's interesting. Mold sign. My rucking is a little bit better. The U1, a lot more rucking. Uh, Line-out jumping, line-out throwing. Kicking, almost no kicking. I've got 41 kicking because sometimes I do like awareness. I have like the, the like the oracle. I think it's called oracle for the training. And you've got awareness, passing, and kicking. And kicking, I don't put any cards there to improve the kicking. But the awareness, I have like an epic awareness plus uh, five energy awareness, which means it's just going to be pumping at an awareness. And then I have another maybe epic or five energy card on passing which increases that up, and the kicking I ignore. So that's probably why it's got 41 kicking. But in this match, I might have to look at the replay. My number two, was it him that kicked it? That's interesting. I should actually go check it out. Um, got better tackling and everything like that. So, yeah, let's look at the next one here. So in general, again, look at that 96 power, 92 strength. 76 coordination, that's for the, because he's a hooker, so you got to throw it in, that's why. Endurance, 85, how old's this dude? 31. Okay, my guy's still growing. <laughs> but yeah, leadership, composure. Look at my composure of this guy. 87 composure. You just get those cards every now and then, you throw those cards there, and put those cards on there to help increase the composure. So I wonder if that influences or not, because they're pretty similar in, in okay, he's, he's a hooker too, maybe, um, but like they're pretty similar in level, 80, 79, and you can see, but here he's got, okay, acceleration and significant power, awesome, agility, yeah, like the same, strength, great, speed, he's not very fast, 
you just never know. He like I've had my, some of my props try and make a run for it too. I've done that, <laughs> but of course they always get caught by someone because they're still like they're usually quite slow. Like Fifty three is not really that fast. Thirty eight, yeah, it's not the best either. But yeah, 66, 78 coordination, 85. Man, you've got good players here. Steve, you've got really good players here, 46. Again, less composure. So when it comes to it, like it's close to the try line, who's going to freak out first? Is it going to be my player or your or your player or Brownhill? It's going to be this player here because he's like, oh, shit, he's close to the try line and he stresses, whereas my player is like, I've got this. I'm like, yeah. And he just go through there. So that's why, why the composure is actually quite good. So we've got form. But again, look at this. Passing. Now, if he's your hooking, hooking, <laughs> if he's your hooker, you actually need passing quite up um, to be like quite high because I think I read somewhere you need passing for your you need passing for your uh, what do you call it for the for your hooker? Not because it's on the match, but actually it's like part of the line out throwing thing. I read that somewhere. Someone mentioned it. Uh, it'll be somewhere. I don't. Yeah. Catching awareness again. All of these things I would pump up because yeah, you could gain an extra one or two bonuses here. But once you get to level like sixty something, like sixty five to seventy, it's really hard to increase. Whereas if you spend like you could spend like 30 days, I don't know, I'm just guessing, throwing random numbers out here. You could spend 30 days to just increase one point. But here, in 30 days, you can increase at this level three points. And that can make a difference eventually, like awareness. He's got 68 awareness, so maybe his awareness as a hooker, he throws it in. He knows exactly where to do it, like the other team could have some type of influence there too. Line out jumping, even though he's my hooker, well, sometimes he's a prop or hooker, or whatever. I just like to have them all good at everything. <laughs> 78 throwing, that's good. That's good. Tacklings, you've got good players here. And they've got Sin. Let's go check this dude out. Again. Got, okay, my guy's got more strength here. Okay. Uh, 91, that's probably because he's age 33 and he's probably just dropped down a level or two, something like that. <clears throat> strength, endurance is still good. Again, so once you get to, um, once your players are maxed out in composure, I see that you don't increase them at all. You notice a lot of mine, like this guy's 76. So he's so he's 76, so he's going to be more composed in critical situations. But again, look at this. Passing, catching, awareness. So one of the reasons, just guessing, that I won so easily is probably because of some of these things here and also the number of matches they've had. Okay, my mall's quite good. My mall's quite good here. Yeah. But again, you're good at just about everything. Like better at just about everything here, which is interesting. Okay, your lock. Your lock's 202, mine's 203. He got injured too. I think he's already 80%. Okay, so your lock, 93 power, 86 strength, speed, coordination. You're like, you got good players here. Composure's 57, 70. So when you've got a, a line out, near the try line who do you think is going to be more composed or relaxed to get the ball in a line out who's going to do that who's going to be more composed probably my guy here i think passing catching remember liner um locks need catching awareness also you got to be aware like your opposition is throwing the line in i'm, I'm just like guessing just from my instinct I imagine the line, the the guy, the line out. Your opposition hook is frozen, and you like you could have awareness to know where it's coming in, type thing, so you can get a turnover from the line out. So as you can see, counter rucking, scrum, maul, line out jumping, line out throwing, 
Okay, he's got a lot of line-out throwing. And he's my lock, too. I'm never going to use him for line-out throwing, but, yeah. Anyway, you never know. Um, okay, so this is one of my star players, I think, from memory. Could be. He's 83, so he could be. Ah, yeah, he probably is. 95, 76, so he will be better. Your guy's 37. Uh, these are the two players I was talking about before where I said, oh, my guy hasn't got very good skill, some of the skills. Yours is pretty much the same. But your guy's 37. I would probably sell him I'm because I'm actually thinking of selling him too. Even though he's 83, I'm like, could I make him last another season, like 36 maybe? He might turn 36 like in a couple of days. Go, go, have a look. Yeah, so you can see, wow, you got lots of, you must have used form cards and things maybe. You got lots of level five players, like five and form. But that's easy to do. Um, yep, good. Another one, this is the flankers. So checking out the flankers. I like all of my guys tall except for my front row, 200 centimeters. Acceleration, power, agility, whoa. 83 agility. That's an awesome flanker there. That's awesome. Power, agility, strength. Speed and accelerations like there. Coordination. Less endurance. So my guy's going to handle longer. But this is just interesting. His 83. Wow. That's awesome. That's, that's, that's a good player. Agility. Okay, this is yeah, sort of my flanker. Got 63, but you're just blowing me out of the water here. 88, 79, 87. In general, your players are very good, except for the lacking some of these other skills here. Just a bit more, which could be making a difference. 72 scrum, 77 maul, 70 rucking, 71. Another thing could be also, let's go here, let's go to the number 10, which is one of the important ones. 75, look at that, my power. He's, I like giving my players power so they can just bump through anyone. Strength also, so they don't get the ball ripped off them, I think. Speed, coordination, you're good. Look at this. Pretty much beat me in just about everything. Like these are very similar, except for power. That's interesting. And look at this composure. Since he's the guy that does all of my kicking, I pumped his composure all the way up to as high as I can. I can get to 99 and just haven't got around to it. Will eventually. So if you look here, counter rucking, your backs need counter rucking and rucking. Otherwise, they're going to lose the ball. If you like, my player comes in, he's running away, and he falls, he gets tackled, and my comes in with high rucking, boom. This guy's going to take the ball off yours, because if your counter rucking is quite low, there's a possibility that it's going to get taken off you quite quickly. Remember, your backs also need line-out jumping for... Uh, backs need line-out jumping just for the up-and-unders and things like that. Line-out throwing, they don't need. I don't know why I've got it at 38. I just... No idea why it's like that. Kicking, very good kicking. Tackling, yeah. I had pumped it up a little bit. What about the centers? Let's go to some of these centers here. Let's go see what's happening in the centers. I like tall back. I like tall backs. All the all blacks, <laughs> but also like tall backs. Look, this is 204. This is when I, this one came out. I'm like, oh, that's for me. He's for me. Because that's gonna help with the up and unders and things like that. 71, 81, agility, got better agility, strength is, you've got better strength there, speed, endurance, coordination. So in general, you're, again, you're maxed out on composure. I've got 81. So is or does composure influence things? Passing, catching. In general, your players are better than mine except for some of the some of the these little uh the skills that are not uh what do you call them important for the players they are actually important and 
One more, we'll go down to the fullback. Let's go see what's happening in the fullback place. Again, oh, you've got a tall one. That's good. I, want, I like, I'd like mine to be taller, but he's he's been around for ages. He's like, he's 36. I'm going to get rid of him. Okay, so both of our players have lost. He's only got two strength. That's terrible. I mean, he's a wing, uh, sorry, um, uh, fullback. But if you don't have the strength, you're going to get the ball ripped off you. You can't hold on to the ball very much. So you could get it ripped off you. That's interesting. Oh, I'm going to have to get rid of Sorry, Levine. You're going to go at the end of this season. You're going to get sold. Whoa. Actually, I could sell him. No, I'll wait until the start of the season when everyone's got loads of money. <laughs> okay, so you can see I've got more awareness, line out breaking. Uh, catching, you've got 74 catching. Nice. Okay, so quite good. Counter rucking's up there. Kicking's up there. Rucking. Quite good. Yeah, so those were the, the two matches. So what I want to do before I forget is I want to go to um, who's sick. <laughs> okay, he's got a sore. What have I got? I've got 14 left. Always. When well, this team, I've always got loads of energy. Okay, so this is Navarrete. So what I want to do is go here and what was it again? Sore ACL. Anything here? So what I do is I go to the daily. Nope, nothing there. So I just go ACL. I don't really care. I've got loads of energy. So if I even use one of these or here, I'll probably just use a three one. I mean, I could use this one here. Actually, I could use this one just to get it out, to make it less options to choose from. That's what I'll do. Yeah, simple as that. So Navarrete. And I won my league. And do I get my celebration? Nope, that same bug. So we don't get to see my celebration again. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. So if I go here, reveal score, doesn't happen. Look at that. I use my worst tactic ever, just so you know. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. I was going to see what my worst tactic ever is. Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. Okay, you notice my players. Legendary. Legendary. Warhorse. Warhorse is one away from legendary. Legendary. Warhorse. Legendary. 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 Hardened. He's 29. He's hardened. He's going to change in about. When's he going to change? Oh, you probably got like another 8,000 minutes or so. Hardened. But still, which is brilliant. Hardened. He's going to change soon. Warhorse. Hardened. Warhorse. Seasoned, legendary. Okay, I still got like a couple of days, like twenty days left. Four or twenty? Was it twenty-four days? Twenty-six days left before it changes. Okay, so he's gonna get sold soon because his strength. I don't like it being so low because it, he could, yeah, get the ball ripped out. So good and everything. He's a star player too, so I need to get some new blood coming through look at the stats he's played eighty-one thousand minutes 1000 matches scored eight thousand points he's gained one thousand one hundred twenty-two thousand. wow that's awesome okay so i want to go to the lineup no it was game plan wasn't it so the game plan it was worst tactic ever so okay this is what i this is my worst tactic ever let's have a look so I've got long away from forwards. And for kicking, 100% going for a touch. Ooh, for t okay, I got zero kicking. So here I've got zero kicking. Interesting. Interesting. I just keep holding onto the ball. I've got a 100% territory, but it's zero. 10% up and under. So that's why there was an up and, up and under there before. Okay, interesting. Let's go have a look at this. <laughs> what do I call this a tactic? Get a try. <laughs> okay, I'm in there, 22. So I've got pick and go, dry. I've got a nice mix here. Okay, a bit more expensive, pick and go close. I've actually got pick and goes, 15%, drive, 20. So it's like 30, 30, 30-ish, maybe, or a bit more expensive. No, uh, pick and goes are 15%. Okay, I got you. 
What about here? Their half, original names, original names. Pick and go corner. Expensive, what you notice, I don't use creative. I don't like creative, just my thing. Own, so never waste to create a defense card against me because if I do have creative, it's like about 5%, 10% of that. Uh huh. Yep. So you, I do have a bit of expensive, balanced. Ooh, here I got more. You see what I did in my own territory? 55% pick and goes, and then drive, and only 10% expensive. Just to hold on the ball before I kick it out for touch. Mm, okay. And what have I got here? High, high, high. Everything. I always have everything high. I got rush here. Okay, interesting. Rush. Uh, kick for touch, kick for touch, scrum and kick for touch, scrum 80%, interesting, and kick for touch also, interesting, and these are the lineouts that I use, overthrow, nice, okay, 11 and 4, I must have just accidentally nudged it or something like that, own, half, drop, short, medium, blah, 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 okay, so that basically is my drop goal, low drop goal, and bonus points, nothing. So that's basically my worst tactic ever for Woodward Saints. Now you know, and that's, so I think with our game there, Steve, I think it's mainly because of, um, this is the time of season where you like request uh, friendlies so you can save cards for next season, everything like that um let's go have a look so what else is there i think i've done pretty much everything oh i've got to go fix my other guy too and games ah something else i wanted to do is um use tokens use tokens to change someone's name okay so let's go to uh, what am i looking for uh squad there we go maybe if i leave the game and enter the game i wonder if i'll be able to see my my thing okay so we've got training no we want to go here health okay so he's got bit more of a serious injury it's a collarbone hairline fracture but tomorrow he's going to be fine <laughs> i had a fr I fractured my wrist last summer and it took me like months to get okay even yeah but hey like but in this in the game, you know, next day, you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, you got a fracture. You got a broken neck. Oh, I'll be okay. I'll, I'll be, boss, I'll be able to play tomorrow. Just so you know, boss. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so, shit, what was this thing again? Collarbone fracture. Okay, I won't have any daily cards that are tall enough for that. So, collarbone, collarbone, fractures concussion here's a collarbone injury there we go let's see how much that fixes yep fixes it all thank you very much ah it was only to hear cool now so if we go back to the comps probably it's not going to appear it's not going to appear here is it still not going to appear nah still not revealing okay um let's go to the ladder anyone challenge me Go on, take me on. Ooh, was this now? What's today? Day 20. I oh, know that was yesterday. Okay. Um, let's go to challenge. I'll send a challenge. Let's go. Now, this is what I do. Just sometimes just jump in the game, send a challenge, and I don't even bother looking at the, the, the results of the games or anything like that. Youth. And penalty kicks, because that is part of one of our challenges right now. That's the only reason. So, and I'll do it uh, with Woodward Saints too. Because I think I've discovered that, oh, Vixen, yep, you do. Go to youth, go for the penalty kicks to complete our union mission. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I just want to go to... I'll do that here for now. Ha ha. I was going to go check out something in the union because I'm going to look for, I'm not actually going to show you uh, the union right now. I just want to go check it out. 
Okay, let's check out some of the, the comments in the, in the thing. Um, okay, let's just say live on YouTube right now. If you have any questions? There we go. Just type that in the, the chat. Live on YouTube right now. If you have any questions, so going from there. So I've just typed that in there. Just see if anyone wants to come along with some questions, things like that. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm looking for the name of the team, which is not wondering sailors. Ah, there it is. East World Ramblers. So what I'll do is I'll put that here in is it East? Actually, I can't do it there. It's not gonna work. Um East World. And you're gonna see why exactly why I'm doing this. East Bold Ramblers. Okay. Now, why am I putting this in the chat? Because I'm going to change the name of a player to this. This is the name of a team of one of one of the names of one of the teams of one of our union members. I'll just leave that and go back to here again. To go right here. Right. So basically, I bought a player. So actually, let's go have a look. And I probably won't be here anywhere. I go to the ladder. It's not going to be anywhere in the ladder. No, it's going to be all the way down somewhere. Ah, oh, whatever. But basically, I bought a player and I said, oh, if I win it, if you put it on now and I win it, I'll change the name of the player. The thing is, when I got this player, I actually liked his name, which is because it is this one here. Is it this player? Nope. It was, it's my other team, I think. So this is this is one of the players I bought. This is a star player. It's not a homegrown star player, so that's actually brilliant. Um, yeah. And look at that. He's a he's a center and he's 203. He's actually quite beefy. I probably want to drop him down a little bit, actually. Uh, I'll drop him down to like there for now. Start plan. Or maybe we'll go to five. Just for now. We'll just see what happens. And if I want, I could actually play a card to speed up that process. Um, he's only 20 years old. He's already a veteran. Look at this. He's a veteran. He's 20 years old. Look at this dude, man. He's 203 centimeters. Now, so this isn't the one that I bought. The one I did buy. Oh, this is Woodward Saints. That's why I'm looking at, should be looking at Woodward Games. Let's go to Woodward Games. And I bought a player, which is this one here. I bought this one. I says, if you put that up and I buy and I buy it, I'll change his name to your the name of your team because he's closing down that team. Thing is, what does this look like? What does what does his name look like? Looks like YouTubin. I'm YouTubin here, <laughs> and that's what it looks like. I'm you. I be YouTubin. So I thought I can't change that name because it's just like a cool name, and I collect names of players. So what I'm going to do? You've got Rich Lord here. Oh, he's a player that um, I'm actually just getting ready to sell i'm gonna sell him in, in a little while I, I actually got this this is my my first star player which i pulled out to sell no intention of keeping him to sell just as just as an experiment so i'm gonna keep youtube in there yep i'm keeping him um so what i'll do is i'll probably change one of the woodwood saints ones for the peters guy this is the one that i bought from the same team from memory Let's go have a look, see where I bought them. Let's go see if I've got the information there. Oh, God. Yeah, let's go. Here it is. No, it doesn't appear. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, in this game, now, finally, you can change. What's this guy's name? Pippin Peters. So you can change the name of the person. And if you are a, what do you call it, a premium member, 
the first time you change it is actually free. Otherwise, it costs you, I'm not too sure, 100, 200 tokens or something. Let's go have a look. So his name is going to be, I, I wonder if I can actually change this to East Bold. I keep my promises. I'm just doing it on another player. <laughs> this is from the same team. So Pippin Peters, I'm sorry. Imagine if Slothrop, he changed his name to this because it's his own name or his wife's name or the family name or something like that. And me, I go and change it. Oh, <laughs> I hope it's not, that's not true. Hopefully it's just a random name that was generated. Okay, so it's East Wold Ramblers. Can I rename him? There it is. There you go. This is East Wold Ramblers from Holland. His name has been changed. Now, if I want to change his name, it's going to cost me 99 tokens. Okay, so you can change people's names. And look at this. There it is. East Wold Ramblers. Yep. I did that for you. <laughs> I said, you put them up for sale now because I had extra money at the end of the season. And like, oh shit, I actually had like $5 million because I sold a player or something like that. And I was bidding on another player and someone else bought it from me and like, no, it was another good, excellent player. I think it was like a lock or something like that. And I missed out. So... I thought, oh, shit, I've got like five million and I've got like one week left. You know, anyone got any players? Got a player here, he put it up. And I said, if I, if I win it, I'll change the name. And here is the name change. East Wold Ramblers. Thank you very much. When is this over there? So I'm going to point over there. There it is. <laughs> okay. Now, if I want to... So it's interesting about the changing the names of of players if i go to woodward games now i think you can change the name like once so if i change one here yes yeah, so if i want to change this one i had to pay 99 tokens i think i've got enough tokens available i've got like about two thousand or so so we'll just cancel that one oh i've got a challenge or something like that oh linux got a friendly okay links so there it is just accepted that one And what else we got? And the reason, this is the time, time of year, and this is what unions are for, to let people know, like, hey, anyone a friendly or anything like that? Because at this time of season, let's go to my fixtures. I've got all of these friendlies here, and I've already got some cards saved. Okay, no, I haven't. Here, I've got some cards saved. Like, this match is on the 1st of the season next season at 11 30 in the morning so what i can do is i've saved these cards so i can use it use them next season so in the in the morning what i need to do or actually i could just take these out what time is this one that's a bit later that was day two okay so that's even better so what i'll do is i'll just let's go check out what these cards are I've got two of these cards, which I couldn't use because I actually don't like this card. <laughs> uh, that's actually a good one. Um, defense against expensive attacks. This is really good. Um, one, one, okay, and that one is just to save energy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these cards here. And then I'm going to put them on the day two one. I just got sent this um, invitation, which is day two at 10 o'clock in the morning. So now, um, let's just go to youth, and I don't know, <sighs> voice tech together, there you go. So now, I just probably want to put some of my good cards here. So I want the defense against expensive, creative, not many people do creative, but I might just add it anyway in case there's some type of challenge that comes up where you need epics. So this one here, I'll throw it all the way to the last game of the season. Because sometimes in the union, there's a challenge where it is um, use 100 epic cards to pass the challenge, whatever it is. So that's what I save them for, just throw them at the end. And I've got one more. So I've, 
I've got like a 3-1 there. Defense against pick and go, might as well. Nothing really else to do. So I've still got six energy to use. Okay. And reveal, no, it's not working that reveal score thing. Something's happening there. So yeah. So I changed the name of the team. There you go. There you go, slow throw up. All done. And I think that is about it for now. Now, what I want to do is, actually, I just want to go check out the Discord and see what's happening there. So I'm going to remove that for now. I don't like my remove all embeds, uh, dismiss. Oh, actually, it was down here somewhere. Uh, remove all embeds. Okay. Um, so just checking out some of the questions. Now, if you ever have any questions, leave them in the union chat if you're a part of the union or in Discord or actually if I... I can probably chuck an invite here or in Discord. We've got Wooded Games on Discord. I don't know how to add the link on here. I'll find it somewhere. Uh, yeah, whatever. So just checking out. There's loads of questions. Okay, so what is happening for this channel for 2023? Um, what am I going to do? Well, I've been thinking a lot about Woodward Games. And personally, I feel that Woodward Games has a lot of potential. And you think, yeah, but you're boring. <laughs> yes, I am. And um, it has a lot of potential, but the potential is probably not for Blackout Rugby. Because we've got 110,000 players at the moment. It's still quite a small thing. It's Blackout Rugby Manager isn't always going to be a big thing. It is something that I enjoy playing, usually. I love the, the, the union and the friends and the interaction we have. I love all of that. But sometimes I feel that streaming Blackout Rugby, you'd be lucky to get any views because it's just not a game that people that people like to watch, basically. It's just, uh, I don't know. When, uh, <clears throat> when Blackout Football Manager comes out, that's going to have a lot more viewers and everything like that. But at the moment, it's very, yeah. It's not very, not many people, like, to be honest, on YouTube, not many people are paying attention to Blackout Rugby. Uh, something happened also around August, September, where Blackout Rugby Manager also paid, uh, I'm pretty sure they paid, um, other YouTubers, not me, paid other YouTubers to play Blackout Rugby rugby manager and of course in a way i understand because in theory they have thousands more viewers and everything like that or subscribers and everything but at the same time it was like hmm a lot of the a lot of those videos didn't get many views at all compared to all of the other ones so maybe the other youtube channel they like in general have like 5,000, 10,000 views for a single video. But when they did Blackout Rugby, it was like 100, 200, 300, not many. And I thought that was very interesting. I thought it was very interesting that. And, and honestly, it was a little bit, yeah, a little bit um, disappointing when I, when, I, when I saw that happen. I was like, oh, I've done it like for years and years. And then I was like, uh, okay. So next year, things are going to, you're going to notice change. If you're only here for Blackout Rugby, there's still going to be some blackout rugby, but just know that it's going to be a little different. I plan to uh, do more. Let's just say we're experimenting with unicorns. <laughs> I'm not joking. You will see. You will see. Um, just to make the channel more of my personality with humor and fun and crazy things like that. And it can be a little bit difficult with blackout rugby because not many, unfortunately, not many people are interested in it. So I'm like thinking, what what can I do? What what can I do to 
to to to to to get more people viewing the different things that we do because like I know like I created some other like how to lessons things like that and only get viewed like about twenty people if that and that's like and it, it can take like an hour or two hours just to create a three minute video and to get like twenty views or something like that it's like is it really worthwhile. So I think, oh, with the live, with the live, um, what do you call it? I should actually put a, watch this game while it's happening. Like, you watch me get my ass kicked. Because <laughs> I'm using my youth team and God knows what tactic here. I think this is a ladder match. Maybe I should just do a good ladder match after this. If this one, well, this one's probably going to finish. So it's like, so when it happened, like the blackout, like, like I'm pretty sure, because these other YouTubers, they're not going to do it for free. And they're like they're like getting paid to show black up rabbit's like, well, that sucks a little bit. So I thought, mm. because always my wife and I, we always thought one day there is going to be some type of reward from spending hours and hours creating things for blackout rugby, the games, the 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 all of the stupid things we've done. All of the like the lead, the youth leagues and the, and the charts and on the channel and all of the different things, the how to guides. And then when it happened and was it September or something like that, I was like, it was really, it was like for the first time I thought it's not going to happen. And I was honestly quite disappointed, my wife and I. And it was just like, well, why, in a way, why bother? So we thought, well, we should do things to actually get views. We're going to actually do things. For example, when I worked at a pub, I've got, I've worked in all types of things, and I slept on. I've slept on alligators. Yep, at the pub. <laughs> it was inflatable, but that's another story. Um, and but when I was there, I actually created a newspaper, and and people would always ask for this because it was with my weird black crazy stupid humor and i mean someone actually took it they said oh can i take this to canada can i show it, it was like do whatever you like it's just something i do because when i work at a bar there's a lot of time when you're free so i create this newspaper there was a, like a like one of the things i love is my horoscope which is like oh god i invented but it was just so stupid so incredibly stupid that you just gotta laugh it's just like oh god because it just takes a takes the mickey out of like making fun of horoscopes but anyway and then it was other time just creating oh so many things and that has always been a part of me is like this part of humor part of enjoying life just enjoying laughing with others and everything like that so that's something that for next year we're gonna we're gonna start doing more um blackout rugby is probably going to be there maybe we've got something some ideas with unicorns <laughs> like just like with you with animations and stupid things like that be doing a lot more animations and jokes and activities if there's something funny about blackout rugby yep i'll do it, it but it could be just about absolutely anything because it's just something about yeah after like two three years of slogging away helping out blackout rugby and doing all of these things like that uh, is a little bit yeah disappointed by that and honestly so reveal score you already know that claim rewards remember this i just use my youth to do these ladder matches oh med pack yes i love it when i get that your token yeah support card yeah cash yeah but med packs those are the best things that i love okay so going back over to here just do another one i think you, do you still have to wait five minutes after the last ladder match is it working? No, nah, it's still not working. Go to the ladder. Oh, I've got nothing really here. I'll just do another one. One second. Ah, yeah, we've still got to wait five minutes. So if I go to the other one, Woodward Saints. So if you ever have any questions about Blackout Rugby, just chuck it in there anyway. Uh, let's go to this match, see if it's still running. <clears throat> so next year is actually going to be big. Well, like this year. The reason I haven't done much um, live streaming and everything on Woodward Games because we did a big push, my wife and I. Everything is my wife and I. We do everything here. Um, for Woodward English, which is, uh, if you don't know, it's our other YouTube channel, which I think tonight will probably reach 800,000, like in a 
sometime this weekend, it's going to be 800,000 subscribers. That's another YouTube channel we have, 800,000 subscribers. It's like the top 37, it's like top 40 of New Zealand anyway. We're like 37 or something of all channels in New Zealand, of all channels. We've got more subscribers than the bloody All Blacks. Crazy. But it's not Woodward Games. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually helping people on the other channel. And this year we did a big push on Woodward English. It's given us fruits. Um, yep. So and now what we're planning to do for next year is the same. I've been hoping to do it for Woodward Games, but we just haven't had the time. So next year we're making time to make this channel next level, basically. And blackout rugby might be a part, might not be. Depends on, depends on what happens. Depends what happens on, depends what the viewers want, basically. So if viewers feel more entertained or enjoy certain content, we're going to go along that way. So I want to go to the comps. Should I do like a normal test? Oh, normal test and letter match. I should. I could actually do a proper ladder match with my main team. Uh, actually, how many more have I got here? Load higher ranks. Uh, yeah, I could probably do it like for the last one. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a let's go. Oh, no, I'm going to wait five minutes. Okay, let's just wait five minutes. Start counting with me. One second down, two seconds down. <laughs> yeah. So but as I was saying... After that, that disappointment, like next year, it's time for, we've got a number of different, we've got like about five different YouTube channels there. Uh, one second. So we've got like, yeah, about five, six, maybe seven YouTube channels. Got one in Spanish. It's got like about 14,000 subscribers. Again, we haven't done much content there in the last year, but it's still there. Woodward Italian we started last year. It's got like about 2,000 something subscribers or so. And that's actually starting to do well too. It's like, hang on, we haven't uploaded anything since March. So, so next year we're going to start pushing up all of these other channels, including Woodward Games. And it includes also, you're going to see the unicorns going to appear, an animation, a stupidity. It might be like a news blog, you know, update of the week. And today we've got this animated on a unicorn or something like that. Someone talking, or might be myself, who knows. But if that doesn't get much interest, and then I'm just going to do other things that do get interest. Yeah, I'm actually waiting for uh, was a blackout football manager to come out, but it hasn't come out yet. Yeah, it hasn't come out yet. I'm still waiting, and life goes by. So yeah, so that is what is happening. Yeah, so that's that's basically the the what's happening. So if you're only here for Blackout Rugby, you might see some things that you like. If not, yeah, sorry, dudes. <laughs> but we're actually out here to, yeah, to continue making a living and everything like that. This was like part of the things to relax and all, but no, I'm just going to start pushing it because what we discovered with English, you can actually do quite well and make a living and everything like that. So we're going to do the same thing with World Games. Okay, so basically that is it for this time. As usual, not many people are here. Is it because it's blackout rugby or is it because of I'm boring? <laughs> Bro, it's a bit of both. You're going to see some more entertaining things coming up. Just pay attention. We've already got something programmed for the 6th or 7th of January about um, uh, just let's just say just me laughing about a friend almost going off the end of a cliff. <laughs> Uh, by accident in a race. Yes. Losing, losing. Great things. Yeah. So that's coming up. That's already booked. Oh, was it pre uploaded? Just waiting for it to happen. So, yep, those are my thoughts for now. This is what sort of like got intentions for next, next year. I hope Blackout Rugby Manager does well because I made a lot of friends. And Blackout Rugby Manager, like some of the devs, like um, Your Worth and Jack and, you know, Hayden, you know, just all of the different guys there. And it's been great when they've actually turned up to the chats and everything like that. 
I've always appreciated. And I hope the game goes well so that they continue to, to benefit from, from, you know, with income, with games and everything like with, yeah, just benefit from it. I just hope that really, really does go well. Um, yeah, so that is what's happening. I thought I'd share my thoughts with you. And at the same time, I know, oh, I plan to have a, like a schedule too, also a weekly, every week, same time, same day. Uh, if you want to know what time or day, let me know in the chat what is, works best for you. Try and do it like your time. <laughs> if you put your time, like 9 p.m. What is it, 9 p.m. in England or is it 9 p.m. in New Zealand? <laughs> so let me know. Um, yeah, so this is, I don't know, it's going to be last stream this year. Who knows? We'll see. So if there's no other questions or anything like that, I had everything set up. Look at this. Look at this here. I've I had to buy this. So okay, honestly, I use the software for my other channel, Woodward English, but I can use it here. So any of your comments, I can put it here like this. I can just show these comments up on the screen like this. Okay, so until next time, take care, stay safe, and as always, have an awesome day.